Carolina rig. All right, Bob Downey here with Midwest Outdoors. He's got a good chunky largemouth on offshore rock right along a grass edge. So on these offshore rock spots, I like to have a rotation of baits. That one we got on the Carolina rig. We'll get this one back. We've got a hair jig, a Texas rig here, and then a crankbait. And my typical rotation is I'll start with those faster moving baits and then slow down and see if I can't pick off some more fish. But it's a really good, good way to maximize that school is to have a, a number of baits available. Don't just keep throwing the same bait at the same school. Give them a different look and you're generally gonna pick up a couple more fish that way. I don't think it's huge, but we got another one here. Cranking deep, a little guy. Might have got the school fired up. That's a big deal when you're cranking, just getting that first one to bite. And then if you can make the same cast, pick out a spot on the shore, throw at it. And that orange maple tree, it looks like straight away. And just try and keep making the same cast. And you can see the rock on 360 there. We're just targeting these rock transitions here from muck to sand to rock. You've got your mud here where it turns real light colored is your sand. And then you can see a big boulder there and some other gravelly areas too. And so we're trying to run our bait right down the edge of that. And that's where a lot of those schools are gonna be sitting. Another crankbait fish on the deep rock. A fun size one. That's one thing you really want to look for when you're fishing this offshore stuff is just activity in the area. Bait fish, minnows, crappie, and you'll see largemouth too, but those suspended fish all together out there, those are all crappie. And it's just a matter of running into the group of them that are set up and ready to feed when you're doing this. At certain times of the day, there's going to be little feeding windows that are maybe a half hour, 15 minutes. Sometimes they last longer. Um, so that's what we're looking for and we're hoping to just run across that feeding window at some point today. Kind of all the same size. Oh no. That was going back the reverse angle again. A little chunky largemouth. Similar area to where that other one was. Another healthy one. Another pretty fish. Crankbait fish. Offshore rock. They're really grouped up nice here. Right on some rock. Oh man, look how fat that one is. Beautiful fish. Wow, look how fat. You'd think he's been feeding up for the fall. Wow. Beautiful fish. Quality DT 16. That's a healthy one. Let's see if we can land them. Uh, all right. Beautiful fish. Just a chunky largemouth. What a fun bite. Let me get him back. This is, might be a pike. That's a bass. Decent bass. Barely got him. Man, he's chunky. Got a good fish out on some rock here. Nice chunk. Oh, yeah. That's a healthy one. Pretty large mouth. Yeah, nice. 
Awesome. On a little group of them out here. There's another one. Carolina rig. This one. Oh, nice. Chunky one on the Carolina rig. Man, what a fun day it's been. Fishing offshore rock. Bronco bug on the Carolina rig. DT16 as well. Beautiful largemouth. Finding them grouped up on these rock spines. This is Bob Downey. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. <laughs>